is applied either after surgery or after an injury. Um, it really just depends on the doctor. Um, so today we will show you how that is done. You will have several stuff that you should already have prepared. First, you wanna have your stockinette, which is this one right here. You wanna have your cast padding, and then you're gonna finish off with fiberglass. You will need some water to apply the fiberglass, and you will have the patient. Uh, there is several ways to have a patient. Today, I'm gonna to have the patient kind of scooting a little bit forward off the chair, and I wanna get her foot at a 90 degree angle. It usually will cause some pain for the patient. However, you want to make sure that you are at a 90. First, we're gonna go ahead and put the stock in it on the patient. There is a foot and calf. Now, you will feel for the tibia and fibula on the top part, usually below their knee. That's typically where a little bit lower, about two fingers is where you'll stop your padding. Once you put a patient at a 90 degree, you would notice a crease right by their ankle and their malleoli. So you can either crop that off or you just want to be able to fold it where there is no big wrinkles there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start with our cast padding. Now, a patient's foot is not at an exact angle, so it kind of goes a little bit slanted. So that's how you're gonna want to do your padding as well. And you're gonna feel for the fourth, the fifth, I'm sorry, and the first met heads is where you're going to start. You'll do three rolls of cast padding. Now you're gonna do three layers towards the front and then you'll work your way up at a 50-50. You're gonna make sure you get extra padding towards the heel and the Achilles, as well as the front part. All right, now this patient will have a rollabout. Basically, it's a knee scooter. So I'm gonna have a little bumper for the patient to have a little bit of more comfort and to avoid the cast rubbing against her shin. Now I will finish off with my last layer. You're always gonna to wanna to make sure you keep that patient at a 90 degree angle. Okay. All right, now that I see all her cast padding is done, I will put her to relax and keep her at a 90 degree angle. Next, I'm gonna start off with my fiberglass. Uh, typically, you would use a white roll and then you would pick a color. Uh, today, we're gonna to do navy blue for the patient. So this is what your roll would usually look like. Uh, this will work, it'll start conforming and it'll start getting warmer as you wet the fiberglass. Now keep in mind, the warmer the water, the faster it heats up. If the water is cooler, you have a little bit of more time until the cast itself starts getting a little harder. All right. Always keep an eye on that angle. So it's basically the same thing. We're going to do three at the front and then we'll work our way up 50-50. Now the first part that you do, this is the part of the cast that's usually gonna get a little bit harder first before you put on your color. 
So at this point, you wanna make sure the patient's relaxed and you wanna make sure that she stays at a full 90 degree. You'll feel for wrinkles and you will feel for any areas that may have been missed. You can use a ball of your hand to kind of push up and not leave any dents in the cast itself. At this point, you will go ahead and fold the stockinette. You want to make sure that your patient is able to wiggle all five toes. And if there is an issue where she is unable to wiggle the fifth toe, you can typically put a little cut in this area and get that part off. Same thing on the top, you'll fold down. And now you will apply your color. Some patients may take two, some patients may take three rolls. Well, it just depends on the size. Uh, you can never have enough cast padding. That is something you should always remember. It's better to have more cast padding than not have enough. When you take off a cast, it typically will burn a patient if there is not enough padding and if there is no proper use of a cast saw. Now the patient will start feeling a sensation of the cast getting a little warm. That's basically the fiberglass doing its job. Once it starts getting warm, it starts to harden as it goes. Feel that? Mm -hmm. right, so we wanna make sure she's at a 90 degree angle. From the looks of it, it sure does look like it. <laughs> okay. All right, now we'll just finish off with our last of fiberglass. During the last roll, I like to tell the patients what is to be expected. Um, a patient should know that the cast should not be wet at any times. Usually you would get a cast cover and let the patients know that it should not get wet. Should it get wet, you are to go to an emergency room and get the cast cut off or go to the location that you had the cast put on at. Do not stick anything in your cast, whether it is trying to scratch or trying to see if it's something for fun. Definitely do not do that. Should they have a skin issue, you want to let them know that there is a way of getting your cream inside, but check with your physician before getting a cast. A cast is not to be walked on either. A cast can break, so this patient should either have a rollabout or crutches. All right, so at this point, the patient's cast will start to dry up. Uh, usually takes about three to five minutes. After that, we can either wheel the patient out or have them use crutches or a rollabout. All right, make sure she's at a 90, feels good, enough padding, and at this point, the patient is good to go.